what's going on family welcome back this is the last video quads and abs yeah. all the hard work that i put in i'ma make sure that it pay off on the clock working like all day Baby, I ain't taking no days off Always felt like a misfit So it made sense when I straight off Made me a plan and took this a plan I took me a chance and I took off Play weak when you strong in the art of war Gotta bet on yourself if you want more All this hustle, what a nigga need luck for I'ma shine for them nights that I hurt for Just to ride this wave near the surfboard I'ma kill him with success cause it hurt more If you got it out the mud, then it's worth more Chase a bash at the state like a motor Said that money train coming and I'm on board Had to make it through the rain when it starts What's going on, y'all? Y'all made it with me three parts y'all done made it to the last video we're doing abs and quads today i'm so grateful for you guys you guys been keeping up i know y'all are gonna do this leg day one day i just know it <laughs> comment down below if you guys are gonna try this leg day so like i said in the last video this is just one day i just wanted to create three parts because you know people don't really feel like sitting and watching a 30 minute workout video because you guys are going to feel like oh that's too much but you know you got to talk I got to walk you guys through all this stuff so um I showed you guys that I'm doing core first so I'm starting with planks regular planks then I'm going to side planks 30 seconds each side and then leg lifts 15 reps and then I'm going to do kettlebell marches so you guys are going to see all of these um, so ideally you want to superset all four of these movements three times. So it's like, boom, planks, boom, side planks, boom, leg lifts, boom, kettlebell marches. So you can just keep that constant tension because man, we want abs. We don't got to fall off in the fall and in the winter. We can just, we can work on ourselves all year round. Why not? So with regular planks, you want to keep your body like it's, straight as possible if you can tell like my spine is pretty aligned um it looks like i was kind of dropping a little bit on the end but you don't want to drop your shoulder blades at all so i'm just showing y'all that i did a minute and then right here this is a side plank so sometimes i like put my arm up mess around i was trying this movement because i've seen it somewhere um it's like where you squeeze your oblique while you're in a side plank but it just wasn't working out for me i don't know what it was my body just wasn't i don't know it wasn't it wasn't hitting like i thought it would so yeah just side plank 30 seconds each side i'm just squeezing making sure i'm Feeling my abs, seeing my abs. And now right here, when you do leg lifts, I like to put my hands up underneath myself because you don't want your back to, to curve or anything like that. You want your back, your lower back to be pretty straight. So this is what I do because sometimes if I go too hard, my lower back will get sore. So this is just a like extra layer of security for your lower back. Look at those triceps, man. All right, leg list check. Y'all put your stuff back. Don't leave mats where you were working out. <laughs> I added this little earthquake effect on this clip because I feel like I walk so hard when I'm walking. <laughs> So yeah, this is a kettlebell for all of you that don't know, 35 pounds. And I seen someone else do this. Uh, his name is Pitbull Torres, go check him out. Um, he's an amazing, amazing fitness YouTuber. Um, so I seen him doing this before and I can really feel this, like mostly on my obliques, but it helps with your balance, helps with your core, just core strength all around because you're balancing that kettlebell up there on your shoulder and you're keeping your other arm that you're not holding the kettlebell on, you're, you keep it in. You don't use it as balance. So you don't 
put it straight out to the side. You keep it in right there so that you got to work even harder to get that work. Yeah. Yes, sir. Look at that. Mm-hmm. So we're done with the core. And you're going to do that superset three times straight with little to no rest. So let's get the quads. Leg extensions. So leg extensions, I mean, this is solely 100% working your quads, like nothing else. So if you have good knees, <laughs> you can go super heavy. I mean, as you guys can see, uh, my left kneecap has been broken before. So I had knee surgery about 10 years ago. But you know, man, I'll still get that work in. I'm not... I'm not a quitter. I know y'all aren't quitters. So shoot, we just, we move past it. We make sure we go slow and easy and do what we can so we don't like injure ourselves further. But you know, we, we're unstoppable. We don't quit. We just, we get to it, man. So leg press. When you're working your quads, you wanna go low and narrow. So I'm just showing you guys that I'm pretty low on the leg press right here. And you want to be narrow, so you want your feet to be pretty close together, and that is how you hit your quads. So it's all about angles and, you know, just finessing to make your body, or to make you work different parts of your body and different muscles. So you can see my quads right there working extra hard. And then we have band walks again. So instead of going backwards like yesterday, we're going to just go forward. Look at that. It's all about the angles, y'all. It's the angle for me. All right. Get yourself situated. Get your mind right. And step. Step. Stretch that leg out. And this is a lot easier than a, a backward band walk because you can obviously see where you're going. You know, just walk, step, make sure you're stepping with purpose. Step with a purpose, guys. Dang, I just said guys. <laughs> he is going to be cracking on me for that. Because y'all know all the YouTubers say guys. <laughs> Like, hey guys, what's going on, guys? <laughs> and I just said, it. but yeah, man, that's the end of the workout. Thank you guys for watching. This was part three. I hope you guys take all three parts and do a leg day. You know, you got to get your stuff and get up out the gym. Don't forget nothing in the locker. Um, I'm sitting here right now, and that's what came to my mind because I literally, I literally left a jacket in a locker last night when I went and met a client at the gym. So I'm going to stop over there um, and go grab it. But yeah, this is Lifetime Shoe Cam. The Vans, you know, you got to have the flat shoe when you're doing leg day. And thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. <laughs> oh my goodness. The Blair Witch is coming. Amen. <laughs>